Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm going to be going over and reviewing the Countertech Ultra Pro Bug Detector. If you guys find this video helpful, please leave a like and remember to subscribe for future tutorial and review videos. You can stay up to date on the latest spy news by following us on Twitter and Facebook. Now, I've been using the Countertech Ultra Pro for years, so I'm excited to give you an official review and put it through its paces. The Countertech is an RF detector that can be incredibly precise and accurate. It also has a few different modes that make it very useful in different situations. Now, if you guys want to learn more about the Countertech and even purchase it, click on this link right up here. Let's see what it comes with. In the box, you have the Countertech itself, a single headphone, and a charger. The Countertech has a built-in rechargeable battery, and I'll cycle back to the reason why the headphone is important in just a second. So let's go over the device and see how to use it, and then I'll actually show you guys how to do a proper sweep with, with an RF detector and give an example of what to look for. Okay, so I have the Countertech Ultra Pro here, and I'm gonna go over the device and show you guys how to calibrate it as well. So it's not too hard. You have your on-off switch here. So flicking that up, we'll turn it on. You've got your uh, power plug here. This is where you plug it in to recharge the battery. And, and then right here on the top, this is where you plug in your headphones. If we move to the top of the actual device, you have your extendable antenna. You've got a multi-toggle switch. It says BAV there. And what this does is you have beep, audio verification, and vibrate. So beeping, We'll make this noise that you just heard vibrate it'll vibrate in your hand when it detects something and then audio verification mode i'll go over here in just a second and tell you guys what that's all about um, next to that you have the sensitivity and this is the, the bubble or the field that it's detecting in and then a volume so this is going to be the volume of the speaker um, so whenever it's in audio detection mode or whenever it's making that beeping noise how loud it is so to calibrate the device what you're going to want to do is extend the antenna all the way move it in the on position. I'm going to put it on beeping so you guys can hear this. And all you're going to do is make it as maximum sensitivity as you can go and then slowly turn this back until it's just right outside the range. So like right, maybe right there. Um, and this light over here is just telling me that my battery life is low. But So what you're looking for is to be right outside the range. So if I move this sensitivity knob just a little bit, it's gonna start beeping. So I'm gonna make it less sensitive so it's detecting a smaller area because we wanna pinpoint the location of whatever we're looking for. Now that we're familiar with the, how to use the device, let's go into some more advanced tips. The first thing I'm going to suggest is to turn off any known wireless device in your home or business. This could be things like your cell phone in your pocket, a wireless router, smart TVs, laptops, and even if you have something like a Google Home or an Alexa, basically anything that you can think of that'll connect to your Wi-Fi. The reason for this is because these devices will actually pick up on the signals that those transmit and it can lead you on a witch hunt for something that's completely harmless and just a normal signal. Now, before you start, you're going to want to calibrate the device. To do that, adjust the sensitivity down until you're just outside the range of detecting a wireless signal. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that. This next part is very important. You're going to want to recalibrate the device every time you change walls. So now that we're calibrated and all the known wireless devices are off, you're ready to start your sweep. The pattern I recommend is an S pattern, starting high on your left and continue down the wall in a sweeping motion. And I'll actually show you that. So whenever you're doing a sweep, I'll even extend the antenna. You're going to want to start high and scan in an S pattern, literally going over anything and everything that you can think of. Um, now I was going to mention here real quick as well, whenever you're scanning, let's say if I'm holding the device right here and it's going off and telling me, hey, check into this area more what's actually being detected is your antenna range, right? Right here is where it's getting detected, not where you're holding it, it's not down here. So if it's going off right here, check here, not here. It's a common mistake. People go, oh, oh, I found something, and they'll dig in right here and they'll find nothing, but it's because they're actually scanning the device improperly or they're actually looking in the wrong spot. So earlier I mentioned how the Countertech comes with a single headphone. And the reason why that's important is because modern bugs allow whoever's listening in on you to remotely activate and deactivate the bug. So say if I was walking around with the Countertech Ultra Pro and I had this 
going off just like this, the person listening to me go, oh crap, they're searching for me, they're onto me. Let me turn off the bug and guess what this won't do? It can't find that bug anymore. So with the headphone, the person on the other end listening to you won't be any wiser that you're onto them and that you're scanning for their device. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that this thing has two different modes, which is an RF detection mode and then another mystery mode that I haven't told you about yet. So that mode is called audio verification. Now, this is kind of a hard mode to understand and exactly how to use it properly, but I will explain it and show you guys exactly how to use it. Essentially, what you do is whenever you switch to audio verification mode, what it does is it automatically scans through every channel that's available wirelessly and tries to listen in on it. Right? So if there was a wireless bug in this room, listening to what I'm saying, it's transmitting wirelessly. What audio verification mode would do is piggyback on that signal and listen to it. Very similarly to how your radio in your car works. You have different channels that you tune into. Well, this is an auto tuner that can tune into every channel and, and listen in to see if there's something going on. So how you would use that is you turn audio verification mode on, activate it, which I'm sure you can hear that in the microphone, and walk around. Now, there's a trick to this as well. What you want to do is play a unique sound in every single room. This could be, you know, like a song in every room. Like, let's say if you wanted to play Michael Jackson in the front room and Elton John in the kitchen and things like that, uh, just leave your cell phone on with the, with the speaker playing the music. If you walk around and you start hearing Elton John through the speaker right here, you've positively identified a bug because that is picking up on the bug transmitting the sound from your for the music, right? So that's how you can actually quickly identify if there's a bug in a location. It's just by switching on audio verification mode and walking around the home or business and uh, seeing if you pick up on you know someone's conversation. You might be you know in the living room with this on and someone's having conversation in the kitchen and you might be able to hear the conversation through this. So that's just a, a basic idea of how audio verification mode works. Okay, so now that you're familiar how to use the countertech and actually even how to do a, a scan with one, let's go up to our sales floor and see exactly what we're looking for. All right, welcome to the storefront. Now we've already gone through the Countertech Ultra Pro as far as how to calibrate it, best practices as far as the S pattern, and you know, just about everything about the device. Now, this part of the video is strictly for like what you're looking for when you're doing a sweep. So I've already calibrated this device, so I'm just gonna extend the antenna and power it on. And then I'm gonna do the S pattern that I told you guys about in the back. So I'm gonna start up here, and I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna continue sweeping, and then once, you can see once I get down here to this one, it starts beeping more frequently and then the lights on the front go crazy and as I pull it away, it stops beeping and as I get closer, it starts beeping again. But then if I move over here to another portion of the wall, it stops beeping until I get right in front of it. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the lights on the front to go crazy and then you're also listening for that beeping sound either through the headphone when you have it in or if you have it on vibrate, then it's gonna vibrate uh, in your hand whenever you get closer to a signal. With a wide frequency detection range and ease of use design, the Countertech Ultra Pro should definitely be on your wish list. One of the disadvantages that I can think of for the Countertech is that it doesn't tell you what type of signal it's detecting, like some of the other more expensive units do. But with that being said, unless you're a PI or in a dire situation, that isn't the biggest deal. Now we do, do monitor the comment section on all of our videos. So if you guys have a question about this or anything else we sell, feel free to post it down below and we'll get back to you.